Hi folks, this is Rubby Mac coming to you with kind of a bedtime story and I hope you get it at bedtime but it's actually being, being done in the daytime and uh, Johnny Knight, I want to discuss something with you. I wrote a book and it's called Nobody Cares and what I did about it and in that book I tell facts and I know that from on Facebook uh, interaction with you and other people that you rely on other things that people write things that you've read and not everything you read is true um, a good example is Mike Byrne pulled up an article and it was about all the porn dealers that were listed in Chicago and it listed my name in there as Roger we met. It had the right address, but my name isn't Roger. So some things could be misconstrued. There's a lot of reporters out there that used to speculate. There's a lot of people that write books that speculate. And if you go to, uh, if you Google something up on the internet, you Google it up. If you Google up Red We Met, you can go down all the different uh, articles that there are about me, but you're going to find one by Leonard Goodman. And Leonard Goodman was uh, the attorney for Ken Hansen on Ken Hansen's appeal. Uh, Ken Hansen, as you know, is, or probably don't know, or whatever, is uh, the man that murdered the three little boys in 1955. Now, Ken, uh, Leonard Goodman, uh, his family is extremely wealthy. And he works at Northwestern University uh, attorneys, or he works with them on a truth and innocence project. He tries to get guilty people out of jail by framing other people. This has been proven. I, I about guilt uh, about about the associate as far as it's been proven about this group, and he belongs to this group. I don't know what he's done personally, and I'm not going to make an accusation towards him. His family has more money than God. They own the Goodman Theater. They have quite a few things. His father was very, very wealthy. He was born a millionaire. But what he wrote about me, if you look on Google, is that I am a self, or I, I admitted to the feds, or federal agents, or whatever, or in court, that I was Ken Hansen's homosexual lover. That's not true. But what can I do about it? I called him on the phone. He doesn't want to talk to me. The guy doesn't like me. He lost a case because of me. He has an ego that won't quit. What can I tell you? Do you want to believe everything you read? Sometimes the toughest things to understand are truths that are mixed with lies. And that's kind of my story to you and the rest of the people on Facebook. I hope you all enjoy it. And I hope you enjoy my book if you buy it or order it. It uh, can be ordered to anybody uh, out there, uh, any bookstore, just about any bookstore has it. But you can order an autograph copy from me. Uh, I'll autograph it directly to you for the same price as you would get it at uh, Amazon, Books A Million, uh, Create Space, or Barbara's Bookstore, or any, any other place. And that's about it for right now. And have a great evening, and God bless you.